Dinellan, Florida, population over 1,900 people. The town was founded in 1887 and named after John F. Dunn, a pioneer railroad man. Known as the Boomtown, Dinellan got this nickname because of the discovery of rock phosphate in 1889 by Albertus Vaught. The opportunity for mining grew the town, but unfortunately, by the 1920s, the town's fortune fell once the phosphate mines began running out of rocks. There's a lot of rich history in this town. In 1988, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Traveling through it, it's not hard to see how much the history means here to the citizens of Dinellan, with how well they have preserved a lot of the old homes and businesses that were built during the Boomtown era. Along my journey, I met a proud local named Julianne. I asked her what made Dinellan special, and she had this to say. So many things make Dinellan special, but I think probably the gem of our city is the Rainbow River. Rainbow Springs State Park is one of the main attractions that bring people to Dinellan. As important as tourism can be for a town or city, it's equally as important to find a balance for locals who live in the area. I think, I think that we're really, we're striving for balance because while we really appreciate the tourism and the visitors, it can be a struggle sometimes to protect the river and to just assure that we're really balancing, enjoying the river with protecting the river. But there's a lot of great, great efforts here to make that happen. So we're confident that it, it's moving in the right direction. The city leadership is gonna help us balance that. Dinellan is home to a lot of local businesses. Fun fact, the 2001 horror film Jeepers Creepers was shot in and around the town. As with any trip, you gotta eat. So we decided to get a bite at one of the local hotspots, Blue Gator. So we're at Blue Gator Tiki Bar and Grill, and we're about to try some food. We're gonna try some gator bites, which is something I've never had before, so that should be fun. And also, I'm gonna get their gumbo. We're gonna see what their gumbo is like. It's fairly spicy, but this is like one of the local places that the locals like to come to, so let's see what happens. So I'm about to try these gator bites right here. It does taste like um, popcorn. I enjoyed the spicy gumbo, but I have to admit it was very whew, this, but <clears throat> this is really spicy. Like I like spicy, but this is really spicy. So um, anything I had in my chest and cold, it's gone because this right here is no joke. This right here, this little soup situation, it's very spicy. So if you like spicy, go for this. If you don't like spicy, stay far away because it is very, very, very spicy. Blue Gator also has some great waterfront views if you just want to relax and enjoy the outdoors. There's a sense of local unity in this town. Everyone seems to care deeply about what happens here. Throughout Florida, many areas are being developed to create new homes for the growing population of people moving to the state. However, here in Dinellan, with its historical treasures and beautiful natural habitats, keeping developers from destroying these places is important to the locals here. The city was governed um, for a great many years in the same way by the same people. And last year there was a movement to make a big change on city council. We identified a mayor who is really um, dedicated to doing the right thing here in Dunellen, Mayor Bill White. So he's been in office for about a year and we have been able to make some strides in uh, working with the county to put some river protection initiatives in place. One thing about many of the locals is that they care a lot about their town. Many volunteer to help keep the town going through various projects and initiatives. Right now I think there's a lot of exciting energy in Dunellen. Um, we just created a new beautification group and we're doing projects throughout the city to try to address blight, pick up litter, um, and just use the few resources that we have here to make our city a better place. With only about 1,700 people, um, we, we want to be the best that we can be, but we don't have a lot of financial resources. The city has sold off all of the utilities, so we don't have any revenue from any of the utilities anymore. So we really rely on, on grants and donations and really just the elbow grease of the people to clean the town up and make it as great as it can be. The Nellan may be a small town, but it definitely has a big heart. There's just a lot of people in Dunellen who love Dunellen and who want to protect Dunellen. And um, we're just a small city of great people doing our very best to do the right thing. Thanks for going along on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Dunellen and one of its treasures, Rainbow Springs, in this series. Tune in next week for our next adventure. 
If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more explorations, discoveries, and truths. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruth and I'm out. Thank you.